Okay. Uh, welcome to Shabeti Uganda e-learning. Uh, my name is Nelson Bikisamba. Uh, this is a continuation of our last uh, topic. And uh, we shall be looking at questions concerning uh, profit uh, roughly and also uh, losses. Uh, of course, this is so, so very important uh, because uh, when it comes to uh, money and losses, it is uh, everyone's task, uh, especially to our young ones. Uh, when it comes to class, it is very crucial. That's, uh, for this lesson, uh, your child will be able to solve, uh, will be able to understand uh, uh, the problems when you send her the shop. Uh, gives you uh, gives back a balance which is not uh, the one you expected or he gives more money uh, he doesn't know how to account for uh, <clears throat> the money you have given her or him uh, all that losses in this topic uh, for this lesson uh, our learners shall be able to understand that what whenever you send uh, that child, or when you are that same child who, who is sent, you will now be able to calculate and understand uh, if uh, this is a line of business, or you work in your shop, uh, you work in your uncle's shop, your sister's shop, you should be able to understand and how to count, not to make your father's business go losses. Okay, so let's get started and see how we can solve this, right? Um, Okay, uh, our topic is about finding the profit, and uh, this is very, very important. Okay, now to our learners, um, when finding out uh, profit, uh, that means there should be some buying and selling. All right, it might be, even if it might be exchanging out uh, uh, a commodity for a commodity, but it should be given a what? Uh, a value or an amount of money. Okay. So that means when you're finding profit or losses, there should be uh, a buying and selling. You sell something and someone, someone has sold it to you. You buy something, the someone who should be selling. So probably in uh, finding out profit, you shall be able to look at uh, uh, selling price and the buying price. You are selling something, someone is also going to buy it so we we'll call it a uh, selling price uh, then also the buying price you sell a product at a certain price and someone buys it at a certain price all right so uh, in our examples we shall be uh, looking at this and uh, make more understanding about this okay uh, here our example is uh, we have this guy called abdul about a shirt at a shilling 800 okay abdul bought a shirt at a shilling 800 and they are saying he sold it at uh, 1000 shillings then they are asking you what was his profit of course uh, i talked about what you call uh, the selling price and the buying price now this is what always confuse our learners and our fellow guys are uh, identifying uh, the selling price and the buying price. One, you have to be able to understand the statements that are mentioned within uh, the question. They are saying Abdul bought. Uh, when they talk about bought, that means he is Abdul who was buying. Okay, Abdul was buying, uh, and they are saying he sold it. That means. Uh, this is going to be our our selling what our selling price he sold when you say sold that means he was selling it all right uh, just because this is a past test okay this is the past test that means he was selling bought okay that means it is also a past test uh, that means bought uh, from buy all right so uh, this means we shall be able to identify our selling price and our buying price so we shall consider uh, this they are saying boat okay boat which is this uh, this shilling 800 
so that this means this was his buying what his buying price then sold okay we are saying sold uh, as a past test of sell or selling all right so that means his selling price uh, was uh, one thousand then they are saying what is his what is profit as we said up here we say uh, dealing with questions of, of profit or money measures we shall be uh, we should have the concept of selling uh, and buying so that's when we are able to state our formula that everyone should be able to understand uh, profit shall be equal to the selling price minus the buying price okay the selling price subtract the what the buying price then you shall be able to get the answer or the profit now here you first state them you say our buying price which is equal to 800 uh, then minus our selling price which is equal to 1000 then you state your formula very well you say our profit should be equal to should be equal to selling price uh, which has been abbreviated as sp then minus our buying price which has been abbreviated as bp all right so this is our buying price uh, then there we shall now carry out this operation we say our selling price uh, which is a, a thousand okay sold price a thousand then our uh, our buying price okay we bought it at 800 then we shall be able to subtract that then with that you can be able to come up with a what an answer okay let's proceed to uh, another one uh, for here we are going to write out a question i'm just going to read it to you it is mental and we shall be able to get some answers okay mm, let me get a pen tool here and we see how we can uh, answer this mental one okay now i'm going to read uh, that question hope everyone is attentive uh, <coughs> my mother bought uh, my mother bought uh, mangoes for five thousand okay my mother bought mangoes for five thousand and when he was passing in the way he sold them at ten thousand right what was the profit someone with an answer my mother bought mangoes for ten thousand and when he was passing in the way he sold it at uh, ten thousand okay bought it five thousand and he sold it ten thousand okay now here we shall be able to say our selling price you first state our our formula for profit uh, profit which is equal to our selling price okay our selling price which you are going to abbreviate as sp then minus our buying price okay by what buying price which is bp okay so that means uh if my mother bought uh, mangoes okay i'm not going to write all all the what of mangoes but i'm just going to write something small okay okay let me write mangoes uh, being equal to five what five thousand five what five thousand okay don't mind about the handwriting so that means uh, our buying price our bp okay don't mind about this okay our bp is going to be equal to going to be equal to what five thousand okay five what five thousand then our selling price which you, which you are going to call uh, sp selling price 
uh, is going to be equal to we said how, what was our sale price uh, we said it was ten thousand okay hope everyone knows how to write this now uh, this is our selling price but we said uh, we shall be having our selling price minus the buying what buying price or the sold price right so that means we shall be saying our ten thousand our ten thousand okay you write your ten thousand and you say minus our what our um our bp okay we said our bp is uh, five thousand so you state it very well uh, after stating it very well then you subtract after subtracting that means uh, we shall be able to come up with what with our profit okay let me try to write it here we shall be able to come up with our what with our profit which is uh, our profit which shall be equal to uh, shall be equal to shall be equal to uh, what is 10, 10 minus 10,000 minus 5,000 we shall still get our 5 what our 5 thousand okay so that's what we shall be able to come up with as our profit okay let's move ahead and also find out uh, how do you find out with losses especially when you're at your business at your mother's place at your sister's business place uh, we are saying uh, finding the loss also this concerns with buying price and the selling price because you are going to sell you are going to buy so uh, here you will be able to see uh, the calculation now let's have a look at an example here and in this example we are having this guy called john uh, they are saying john bought a shirt at two seven thousand two hundred shillings and sold it at six thousand uh, at six thousand only then they are saying calculate the loss uh, this is the same as what we have uh, been doing the other side up uh, because when you see uh, when they talk of uh, when they talk about losses that it still deals with the, uh, the buying and the selling so we shall also be stating our formula which is going to be the vice versa now of our what it's going to be the vice versa of, of our of our our formula which is selling profit was selling minus selling price minus the buying price uh, then then that means our uh, formula for finding the loss uh, shall be equal to the buying price then minus the what the selling price okay let's deal with this uh, where they are saying john bought uh, a shirt at 7200 and sold it at 6000 only then calculate the loss now here you look at uh, he bought it at the shilling to this as i said we should be able to identify the buying price and also be able to identify uh, the sold price or the selling what the selling price now our loss uh, is going to be equal to uh, the buying price minus the selling price as these have been abbreviated then we first state out what was the buying price buying price you state it you say our buying price is equal to a seven uh thousand seven thousand two hundred then uh also you can state what was what was our uh our our selling price which was thousand okay you can also you can state them in this way okay you can state them in this way okay you can state them in uh, this way you also indicate our what our selling price which is uh, let me show it here let me put a comma here and say our selling price for someone to be able to understand and know uh, how your selling price is so here we can say our selling price is equal to six what six thousand okay six thousand 
you also state it such as that someone who's going to mark you should give you uh, some credit for for methods okay so now here we know our selling price was six thousand so that means uh, using our formula loss equal to the buying price minus selling price then we shall be able to say our selling price i mean our buying price which is seven thousand two hundred then minus our uh, selling price which is six thousand so when you subtract this uh, we shall be able to get one thousand two hundred as what as the loss okay so i uh, hope everyone has understood this please be able to use any method uh, that you can you can try uh, you can even also arrange it in this form and you still get the same what the same answer so the the arrangement should not disturb you you can still bring that and you bring your six what and you bring your six thousand you bring your six watts, your six thousand. Okay. Then you subtract in this way. Okay. To subtract. Uh, remember we said <coughs> this minus this, then we shall say what is you start from here. Uh, we are going to get a zero. We are also going to get a zero. Uh, here we are going to get a two. Okay, hope everyone is understanding uh, and then seven minus six shall be able to get one uh, so this means we shall be able to come up with the same answer that they got so this gentleman was able to make a loss of 1200 that was his loss okay hope this video has done you very well uh, for this as we continue there are more questions that you are going to try and you are going to see that are more complicated than this please call out subscribe and uh, be able to watch the next video that is coming on more questions that are complicated than that we shall be handling them okay thank you very much for this moment uh, please be able to uh, subscribe uh, such that you can get the recent videos or uh, you can get uh, some updates as soon as we upload a new resource or a new video in this i say thank you very much god bless you have a nice moment